Inside a nuclear reactor, fuel rods are tubes of zirconium alloy containing uranium fuel pellets. These rods are immersed in water and heat generated by the nuclear reaction inside the rod turns the water into steam which drives turbines and makes electricity. In a shutdown, control rods can be placed between the fuel rods to stop the nuclear reaction. After the earthquake near Japan, control rods deployed correctly. Though the reaction stops, fuel rods continue to give off enormous amounts of heat. To keep the rods from getting too hot, they must be kept submerged in water. In Japan, there was no electricity to run the cooling system. Operators added water, intending to vent the steam and replace the water as it evaporated. But the water began boiling away faster than they could replace it. The rods were exposed to the air, heating up quickly. As temperatures spiked, their zirconium casings cracked, releasing radioactive gases and hydrogen probably the cause of Saturday's explosion. It's not known if any of the uranium fuel has melted. In a full meltdown, fuel pellets would drop to the bottom of the reactor vessel. They might burn through it. In 1979, the cooling system failed at the Three Mile Island plant, causing a partial meltdown of the reactor core. The reactor vessel was not breached. In Chernobyl in 1986, a poorly designed test of the cooling system caused a huge power spike. The reactor exploded. There was no containment vessel, so the radioactive gases and materials were spewed into the atmosphere.